My name is Kurt Asplund and this is my studio. I have a special guest here who's like my next door neighbor. That's Lucy the dog. And Lucy gave me the bright idea that maybe today we should draw some dogs. So come on, let's go draw some. In the meantime, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment. What kind of dog do you have? I'd love to find out. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is draw a large circle at the bottom of our page. This is going to be our pug. At the top right, we're going to go ahead and draw almost a cat shape, a flat bottom, hourglass sides, around top and this will be for our ears this is gonna be for oh hey if you're liking this video make sure you subscribe right now below so I can keep making more you got this our Australian Terrier dog and the last will be a very simple shape we're going to draw a rectangle and that's going to be for a Scottish Terrier. Okay, let's come down here to our pug. And we want to draw the lower portion of his face for his mouth. Two eyes. Like I always said, make sure you are drawing very lightly to begin with. We can always come back in and darken our lines. Okay, this is going to be for the top part of his muzzle. Another two eyes. Let's get some nice shapes in here for our, our Scottish Terrier. Almost a diamond shape. This will be in his nose. We see the top of his nose and the front of his nose. And the top of his head, a straight line. ears. Outside is straight, inside is curved. I'm always looking for places to do a straight line versus a curved line. It gives drawings a lot of interest. We're going to draw some, define his ears just a little bit more. Add some of his fur growing in front of his ears. Let's darken up these eyeballs just a little bit. I'm careful to leave just a little bit of a highlight nostrils for his nose. Some of these dogs have a little bit of fur above their eyes and they seem like eyebrows so I'm gonna give him nice thick 
eyebrows up there. I think it makes him look more like a Scottish dog. He has a lot of hair coming off the muzzle. Almost like a double rainbow on either side of his nose. My lines are kind of thick, so if you have skinny lines, that's okay. You just may have to draw on top of them a couple times. darker in front of his ear. Some little hairs here in between his ears. And now I'm going to darken his ears in now that I know where I'm going with some of these lines. Darken in the eyes and make sure I am leaving the top left part open so that it creates a highlight. And remember, if we want something to pop off the page, a lot of times we want to create contrast. So by adding the dark eyebrows, it causes them to pop off the page compared to the area around them. Right, darkening his nose in here. Adding a little, little light value. our pug. Nostrils, opposite, circles there, almost like a letter C. And the pugs, their smile is super wide. So we're gonna give him a nice S curve and then I have his tongue coming up. Darkening some, some of my lines. side of my eyes. Now adding some wrinkles for his fur. And I notice with the pugs they have little ears. So we want to indicate that. straight. 
nice thing with him is we have so many straight lines, he looks very good next to our pug. Alright, moving over to our Australian Terrier. We have his tongue, his mouth there. lot the same like our Scottish Terrier and then he has a lot of big big things in it. A lot of a lot of hair on his face. A lot of long hair. And I'm drawing him similar with a straight line at the bottom. That that straight line makes the curvy lines stand out. It, it's interesting. sides of his ears are, are very uh, lots of hair so they're not the side of his ears aren't as crisp as we see in the Scottish Terrier right next to him dark and this creates contrast and interest get his ears here too of your pencil to do this. Just try and keep your tones even and always draw them lightly. Don't go too dark. You always can add more value. And when I say the word value, I mean dark. Dark, adding more dark. here. 